Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to today's journal with me. So here we are. Today's page is just a random page that I decided to do. If you've been keeping up with my journaling um, last year, towards the end of the year, I really got into a lot of like layering and just like making stuff. Like I was trying to get back to my roots, if you will. Like in my 2017 journal, um, I used to do like towards the end of that journal i used to do like a lot of stuff just like a lot of things on a page and it was just like i loved it it was like very maximalist in style which is very much my style especially like in interiors my room there's a lot to feast your eyes on that is what i love is art where there's just so much to look at but it's just so aesthetically pleasing and so i was being influenced by people i follow on instagram who do a lot of like layering but they also do like most of the people that do that that i see do it in a very neutral palette and so i've been being inspired by their techniques and using that to be like crazy and colorful actually today i looked through my 2000 Eight, there's too many years um maybe 2018 I th is that what it is let me check yes 2018 journal and like looking at that 2018 was the worst fucking year it like really sucked it was good in very few aspects and those good aspects were things that i'm very grateful for like i got to start college but like journaling that year was just very not good the pages seemed looked very uninspired and i also had a hard time filming i actually i remembered recently that i did a video talking about my 2019 journaling goals or goals for the year but one of the main things was that i wanted to journal more without having the pressure of needing to film it because in the year 2018 the pressure of having to film journal with me's made the journal pages not turn out as good and then i just wouldn't journal on my own time because i'm like no i need to be filming them because then if it turns out good then i've got footage and then you know all that kind of stuff and i wasn't really you know just doing it for myself and like my journal is absolutely for myself and in 2019 i feel like i figured out how to balance that and i also just got way more into it and found a lot more inspiration um because before i felt like i was doing it very solitaire solitarily solid is I was very solo. I didn't really watch other people's journal with me. I don't know. And I also don't feel like that many people do exactly what I do that I could find. But now I feel like I find a lot more people nowadays on like Instagram. And now I do a lot of journaling about K-pop. Like I could literally be mistaken for a K-pop journal, which I'm not. Um, I just, that's just my interests. And what I do in my journals is whatever I'm interested in. It's basically just a document of who i am right now and my interests so i used to do pages about books um but then i don't read that much anymore like if you don't know if you weren't here from before my whole youtube was book related um hopefully sometime in the near future probably not knowing me i'll hopefully have a video talking about booktube and reading and stuff but my camera broke if you hadn't heard um so that might not happen but we'll see but anyways so talking about k-pop and k-pop pages that's what this page was um but i also kind of wanted to do it in a little bit of a subtle way because a lot of people don't care about k-pop but still watch my videos so thank you very much for being not judgmental possibly i don't know what you're thinking but just i wanted to show through this now i mean like while i was doing this i was just doing my own thing but now i feel like this is a good lesson in like you don't have to be so like big and bold about things you can like really incorporate it into your own style and mix it with your everyday kind of things recently i've been trying to be mindful of two opposing pages like what am i trying to say i don't know um this isn't what i would call a spread to me a spread is usually two pages that go together are like cohesive this i don't wouldn't consider a spread because the content is different and i had different intentions but recently i've been thinking about being conscious of the two pages bouncing off of each other aesthetically and how that would look they don't have to go together but sometimes i just don't feel quite right if like the colors are just completely not complementary colors and just completely don't go. But anyways, these two pages, I feel like bounce off of each other well and I enjoyed that. Um, and I've just been working through how I do that. 
So the content of these pages, the left one was Red Velvet. I got their album. Nobody had this freaking album. If you don't know, I buy a lot of K-Rob albums. Please, someone please stop me. No one has yet. So I really wanted the Red Velvet album because it's beautiful. The photography in that, the concept of that, so so good like if you don't care about k-pop but still like you should see these photos they're so good oh, no, no. so inspiring um i can't wait to try something out like that if you don't know i am a photography major in college yeah so i wanted to get that album but like nobody had it finally we found it shout out to mandu and canal street market you the best. So I just had some stickers and things and I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a page. I also had, I don't know what possessed me, but I bought some pink stickers, hot pink stickers. I don't do pink or a lot of color, uh, or at least I previously I didn't, but so far this year, I've really been branching out into colors and I'm like, who even am I? Or like bright colors, I mean like pink specifically though i literally just said a few minutes ago how i don't really do the neutral theme but i don't know where i'm going with this anyways point is recently i've been doing a lot of pink toned spreads and i'm like who even am i but it's i really like how it's going really stepping out of my comfort zone if you will my style is evolving who knows and then on the right page i did a lot of layering and things and used my m for a packs and just scraps that i collected and washi tapes and just had a good old time with it you know and then on the right page i used okay what did i do <laughs> so i have extra nct regular irregular albums that i cut up because the photography in that is my favorite of all albums that i've ever bought and so i cut them up normally i cut them up all at once and then like sort them out like these i want to put on my wall and these i can use my journal and they're all pre-cut but then um my regular version the green one I didn't pre-cut it. I just kind of left it on my shelf. I just didn't have time and then I didn't remember to pre-cut them. And so I just kind of looked through it and found this very random piece of like purplish pink paper. And I was like, ooh, doesn't really look like much, but it could be like nice behind a photo. I like checked what was behind the page and I was like, ooh, nothing, like it's fine. And then I didn't realize that I was accidentally holding two papers together and I cut through Jaehyun's face. A most beautiful picture, I cut it. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, you know? <laughs> All for this stupid, uneventful piece of pink purple paper that I ended up not even really wanting to use, but I was like, no, I must use it. So I, it, I ended up cut, yeah, so. And then what else did I do? I got a Polaroid printer for Christmas for my sister. Thank you to my sister. But I've been just printing K-pop people out <laughs> from this printer. So here's a nice beautiful picture of Taeyong from regular, regular era. And yeah, and then just kind of doing layering washi tapes and things like that and some stickers. And then I originally put down a sticker from Super M. I think I put down Supercar. I can't remember. I'm not looking at the footage right now. But then I was like, no no manners is taeyong song because we all know what he does in this freaking song so i just ripped off the sticker and then it tore the paper behind it which i thought was fine because i it gives it more of that like you know torn apart look the scraps and i don't know it added to it which i like and then i put the no manners sticker down in a different place so yeah wait and i was talking about red velvet just before but i meant to say like their song psycho i absolutely love it's such a good song definitely listen to it um i did not whatsoever like their last song that was mm -mm, don't i don't even want to talk about it um but this comeback this song so so good so good so that's also why i really wanted the album as well anyways so that is it for this journal with me i feel like i rambled on so hard but it felt good to get it all out um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um remember to check out all my social media which i'll always link down below i occasionally post some random journaling pages on there if i'm not gonna post them in a video so yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye
We fell deep and love again, like we all.